Hey everyone, Nike Strad here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about top harmonic. Before I talk about how to put off a top harmonic, I just want to talk about the basic of the harmonic real quick before I jump into that. Uh, so there are three spots on a fretboard you can hit a harmonic. And that is the fifth fret, seventh fret, and the twelfth fret. Right? And so if you're holding down a note on the first fret, those harmonic spot is going to shift forward a fret. So, so instead of, if you're holding the note on the first fret, instead of the harmonic spot being on the fifth fret, it's actually going to be on the sixth fret, the eighth fret, and the thirteenth fret. So, so the tapping harmonic is you're basically hitting those harmonic spots. So. So let's say you're holding down the note on the first fret, you're going to have to tap on the sixth fret to hit that harmonic. And you're going to also add a little bit of a vibrato to uh, your harmonic. So another thing to uh, note about doing a tapping harmonic is making sure that you're muting all your other strings. And uh, it's super easy for your other string to ring out and get that unwanted noise while you're doing a uh, tapping harmonic and that is because when you're tapping on the fretboard it creates a vibration that sends out to all your other strings and it's going to make your other strings uh, start ringing out so whenever you're doing a tapping harmonic make sure you use the left hand to mute all your other strings so it sounds a lot more uh, cleaner and more focused on those tapping harmonics when you mute all the other strings. It's a really neat little trick I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy. And not only you can do that, you can also mess around with uh, some pentatonic scale and just play your harmonic an octave above. So there you can do like an A minor pentatonic scale. So on the fifth fret of uh, the high E, you can tap on the seventeenth fret of uh, the high E. You get that octave higher uh, harmonics. The eighth fret of the high E, you're gonna tap on the twentieth fret. Once you get that down, you can move up to the B string and then tap in the same spots. And so yeah, I think that gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the next video.